Hi family, hi everybody, hi world. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Equals World and you are welcome to this channel. If you are new here, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to be part of this wonderful family. So I film about faith, lifestyle, music and then I vlog as well. So if you are interested in any of this, stay tuned to this channel. So on today's episode of Equals World, we want to talk about an incident that occurred recently and i felt it would be good to share so if you would want to know about this incident stay tuned so one night in my room right um i was making a phone call i was on the phone with a friend and um I passed a funny comment that I'm growing and I'm like this year I'm going to be this age and the next year I'm going to be that age. I'm really growing and I really want to be 18 again. And um I passed this funny comment that what have I achieved? And I kept saying it, right? So as I kept saying it, excuse me to say, as foolish as the devil is, he decided to creep in into what i was saying right that's what have i achieved and so uh, the devil started to place some thoughts in my mind and i was like hey yes okay so what have i achieved in this um period of time in my life what have i achieved so i became quiet all of a sudden and then my friend being so good which yeah. i believe was led by the spirit started to pinpoint the blessings that um ha had, had occurred in my life right so um this friend started and then he was mentioning one two then he kept mentioning he kept mentioning it and i was like oh wow i've really achieved a lot of things so therefore why is the devil making me try to think as if I have achieved nothing and to be honest that's what the devil does the moment we give the devil the chance he also comes in and then he he, he then tries to put some some ugly thoughts in our mind so let's go back to the garden of eden right see if for instance he just asked if a simple question and um that gives the devil a chance to also creep into it and then deceive her to eat the fruit do you get it and so most of the times in our lives probably because we have not been counting our blessings because we have not been taking notes of the blessings that has been occurring in our lives sometimes we we limit the power of god in our lives so that was when i understood um this song of dida hamilton <laughs> You get it. So most of the times I sing the song, I'm happy, I sing the song. And that was when I understood the song very well. Because, you see, we are humans. And as humans as we are, most of the times, I don't know if you've realized, people forget the good things you have done for them. And it becomes a problem for us. So imagine you forgetting the blessings God has has made um, or care in your life. Imagine how he will feel. Okay, so that was what um, I, I thought of. I was like, so if I can forget something like this and giving the devil the chance to come in to fill my mind with ugly thoughts, then how is God going to also feel about it? You know, I don't know if you get where I'm coming from. So I just want to urge us, if as much as possible, if you can get a book to note every blessing that has been occurring in your life probably because there are too many probably because there are too many you sometimes forget okay so in order not for us to forget and in order for us to always dwell on this and then in order for us to always always know that he has been the source he has always been the provider he has always been the god behind everything we do if possible get a notebook get uh, your phone you can 
list all those things down so this is what i wanted to share this is what i just wanted to put across i believe you have been blessed and i believe you are going to count your blessings and you are not going to limit the power of god in your life Thank you very much for watching today's episode of Equest World and I believe you have been blessed. So until next time, it's a bye.